Y'all realize how important water is? I'm so, I'm so, like, upset about how much water is taken for granted in our culture. Look at me. I'm all wet. I'm wet. You can see the wetness on me. I just got out of the shower. But yeah, you know, water is good for showering. I had, to wipe, I had to wipe some off of my screen. And more importantly, much more importantly, water is good for so many other things, including being able to live, you know, hydration and shit. Because water, holy shit, is so fucking important. Like, just so fucking important. Y'all should fucking, like, be a hardcore advocate for water right now. I'm serious. Like, I'm not even trying to meme here. You should just fucking, like, be a hardcore, like, I am pro-water activist. Like, straight up. And it's just, like, the reason why is because water is under attack right now. See, you got, like, cities like Jackson and Flint and all these other neighborhoods that are just so uh, fucking polluted because of capitalists making, you know, cut corners to use the fucking, you know, city's drinking water from the fucking river and shit that has been polluted with trihalo methane and shit like that from, like, you know, companies that have dumped into the river. So, you know, that's a major fucking, uh-uh, not happening. Not to mention, Nestle doesn't want you to have any fucking human right whatsoever for water. Like, Nestle does not even think that water should be a basic, you know, human right. You shouldn't just be born with the right to have water, right? And that, that's worrying because, I mean, what Nestle really is, it's a, it's a corporation, uh, it's, a, it's a capitalist conglomerate, and they own several aspects of, uh, of, of, uh, of things that need to be bottled, primarily chocolate milk and other things like that, you know, the, uh, the bunny, the, the, the Nestle bunny and all that shit, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. And I'm not even really getting into the whole Nestle scandals rabbit hole here. There's a whole rabbit hole with that. There's a whole thing with, like, Nestle uh, giving false information to breastfeeding mothers and all that shit. And there's a racist aspect to it, too. That's its own thing. Go check that out in your own homework and research. But more importantly, it's just, like, that should give you, like, a, pr a precedent like, an understanding of what is to come. Because if we have corporations that don't think that humans should have a right to water, like, an, like a sovereign right to water, and we're seeing, like, entire cities using uh, corporate dump uh, river water for drinking water throughout the city, that should tell you what else there is in store. Think about it. Every time there is a pipeline built along a river... And shit, that river gets contaminated because there's obviously going to be spills. You know, Dakota Access Pipeline and the Keystone XL Pipeline have all suffered consequences of this. That's something you should be fucking aware of and very just goddamn alert to, you know? And more importantly, like, it should be very apparent to you, my friends, that right now... Drinking water is not safe. Uh, rather, let me rephrase that. Not drinking water, rain water, right? You know, it used to be illegal, well, it still is, illegal for you to just put a bucket outside and just, like, collect water and shit. You know what I mean? Because that shit needs to be privatized under capitalism. But uh, now, the water is so unsafe, globally speaking, that it necessitates purifying the water like through a privatized entity right that's what like all these fucking like pipelines are for is to privatize the energy and privatize water and obviously to privatize your necessity so that essentially companies can do whatever the fuck they want with things that are necessary to live right where I'm from, they have, like, this big multi-state pipeline being built uh, along multiple rivers and shit. 
But more importantly, what is what needs to be said is that they are proposing this as if, if all of these things are run by the government and stuff, all these necessities are owned and run and governed by the state, you know, then there's going to be an incentive for uh, them to make it extremely costly for taxpayers and shit. But truthfully speaking, what they're trying to do is to make these resources specifically privately owned. So they'll sell you on the idea that you're paying for something cheaper when already we all pay taxes. You know, I pay taxes and I haven't gotten my fucking IRS, uh, you know, tax returns in two fucking years. What's up with that? Uh, so, you know, fuck me, right? Meanwhile, a bunch of rich people get a bunch of fucking tax breaks because, you know, they're fucking rich and God fucking likes them more than poor people, I guess. Us poorers need to fucking, you know, drown in our own fucking degenerate swamp and shit, whatever. You know, I'm being extremely sarcastic with what I just fucking said because, uh, fuck the rich and, uh, you know, they don't deserve to have any of that kind of power over us, truthfully speaking. And uh, they also don't have the right to privatize, like, anything for that matter that we need to fuck, well, anything for that matter, but just anything that we absolutely fucking need, you know? Uh, and then some people are going to say, well, you're an anarchist, why are you advocating for state-owned uh, commodities and stuff? No. Like, obviously we're under capitalism, that's the current mode of production, that's what we have, right? And we're trying to survive under these means. Obviously, the end goal is to abolish capitalism. But the end goal is not just with abolishing capitalism, but also the state. And the state shouldn't have a fucking uh, ownership of that means of production either. So, especially considering the fact that everyone should have the right to these resources and not just people who align with the state whatsoever. You know, the state can very well... Uh, act on its own interests and specifically uh, take issue with anyone who is trying to provide these resources to all people instead of just like a few people or some people, you know. And that's also the primary problem with capitalism is that this is literally like the, the fruits of our labor mostly goes to rich white fucking goddamn inbred capitalist pieces of shit, you know, not like. You know what I mean? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying, holy shit, look how wet I am. I'm so fucking wet for anarchism right now. I'm so wet for water. You, you, you have any idea how wet I am for water right now? Holy shit, yo. Anyway, look at how wet I am. I'm fucking wet as balls. Well, whatever. Bleh.